Marriage is hard work. Please work hard at a relationship. It is tough. I read this in the USA Today. If there's laughter in the bedroom, you have a healthy relationship. If you could laugh, yeah. Laughing and pointing is not good. That's what I say. Memories. Okay, anyway, um, I don't want to date anymore. I dated this woman the first time I dated after the divorce. Beautiful woman. I'm at a restaurant, I'm not even lying to you. This guy, who I don't even know this guy, he walks past my table, goes, she's out of your league. <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm the commissioner of the league. <laughs> I can do what I want. <laughs> I heard the worst pickup line in Cabo San Lucas, made for a woman. I was there, I was doing a cruise ship, and I was there, there was a woman at a restaurant, local guys eyeing her. I see the moment I come over thinking, I'll oh, get some material. <laughs> I hear this conversation, excuse me. Do you have a man? And she says, yes, I do. And he says, in Cabo? <laughs> That's kind of smooth and creepy, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny how women and men differ on just marriage, just hearing the news. When, when you hear your girlfriends get married, Denise is getting married! <laughs> Denise is getting married, we're going to be bridesmaids! <laughs> when a guy hears a guy friend's getting married, it's like he has a disease. Did you hear about John? <laughs> What, what happened? He's getting married. You're kidding. I saw him two weeks ago. He was fine. Oh, I am funny. Anyway. I don't know where I should go here. I got two places I can go. I don't have any kids. I, uh... I was uh, watching my niece and nephew once. It is amazing to me that he, listening to children speak, I thought, they, apparently we have handed down phrases for years. They still say, last one, last, uh, first one takes, last one there's a run egg. First one takes the last one's place. Second one has to eat it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and then the black guy in the back, not included. <laughs> we can't talk this way as adults. Where can you find an adult situation to say milk, milk, lemonade around the corner if I just made? You can't. <laughs> Can't fit that in anywhere. <laughs> Push the button, pull the chain, out comes chocolate, choo-choo train. These are the first poems I learned. <laughs> you can't use these in adult situations. My sister had a word I couldn't deal with. I come home from school. Kathy, I saw you were in the kitchen. You ate the last piece of chocolate cake. And mom said that was my piece and you ate it. She would say, so? So? So I'm telling. So? You'll be in trouble. So? But you, you'll be grounded so, so infinity so. Infinity plus one. <laughs> and she knew I couldn't explain to my mom because crying and talking didn't come out right when you were a kid. Mom! <laughs> mom. <laughs> Kathy ate the last piece of cake. The one, one you, you said I could have. Uh, 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 uh. My mom said, so? <laughs> my grandfather would do this to me. I'd go visit him, he would, he would tell me a story, he would convince me monsters were under my bed. Creatures were in my closet. <laughs> Scare the heck out of me. So then when I visit him later, I would say, grandfather, and as you're hearing it, we're going. <laughs> Payback, you know. But he taught me the art of practical jokes. Oh, you are so happy I'm here. I'm gonna give you some stuff. You will do the rest of your life. How about that? Does that sound good? I am a fan of practical jokes, and here's how I thought of it. I was in an airplane, and I had to use the bathroom. I was sitting in the bathroom, because, and I had it. I was groggy from a nap. I had a slight cold. I was, anyway, forgot to lock the door. <laughs> my pants are at my ankles. <laughs> door swings open. <laughs> but the guy reacts. He freaks out. Like, he was like Jerry Lewis. Wait, no, it's fake. No, it's not fake. And man inside with the pain in the band. Not good, lying. And that's when it hit me. It's more embarrassing for them. So now I do it on purpose. <laughs> it's my airplane fun. I sit there drama, I'm like, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Door opens up, how do you do? <laughs> but that's when it hit me. Adults don't expect adults to act this way, so these practical jokes will work. The first one works 100%. 
Next time you're at a restaurant or a bar and something with a friend, look at a stranger across the way. When you have, because you always have eye contact with a stranger. When that happens, just take your drink and go, thank you. <laughs> I got it, thank you. Just to watch the confusion, you know. <laughs> it's better if they're with someone, who's that? I don't know. <laughs> when I go to a bookstore, I insist on paying the Canadian price. <laughs> just to mess with them. <laughs> I had a woman at Barnes and Noble. I've never done that. I'm like, ah, oh, my work is done. You're confused. <laughs> Go to Taco Bell, start making up names for the food that aren't on the menu behind them. Oh, the seven layer burrito, guacamole and chips, and one Mexican standoff. <laughs> Eventually they go, what are you looking at? <sighs> I'm gone. My work is done. I go to Starbucks. They say, what, what should I put? What's your name? I'll put on the cup. One girl said, what should I put on the cup? And I said, oh, put uh, my boyfriend on the cup. She goes, oh, that's cute. I'll just but it's a guy, barista, my, makes my coffee. My boyfriend. <laughs> Latte from my boyfriend. <laughs> Have you ever overheard someone give their name at a coffee shop? Woman in front of me goes, Janet, my name is Janet. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Janet has her coffee and leaves. I have my coffee and I stay for a while. Then I'm walking downtown and she's walking opposite me. So I had to do it. <laughs> I had to go, oh, Janet? <laughs> And you know what? No one has ever said to me, I'm sorry, I don't know you. They all go, well, you go hi. hi. <laughs> and then you can take it wherever you want. I said, oh my, did you get in trouble seven years ago? I have still have your underwear. I don't want, oh, that's a keepsake. I don't, ah! you know. <laughs> one time, uh, me and my buddy were gonna go to a movie. He was, we were in a hotel. So I go to his room, but I see trays of food outside people's rooms, right? I just bought a sandwich. I unwrap it, I hang a light of it, I put it on a napkin, I put that on somebody's tray. I get my buddy, as we walk by that tray, I go, oh look, they left food. <laughs> and that's when you find out what kind of friends you have. Because there's only two reactions. The first one's the normal, oh, don't, you don't know where that's been? And the second one is, give me half, give me half of that. <laughs> it backfires on me, however. I was, uh, I was going through customs a lot, working on cruise ships. You know, the average age of a cruise ship audience is clear. <laughs> so. <laughs> They are polite. I never hear, get off the stage. I do hear, what do you say? All right. <laughs> so I'm doing customs a lot. And that day I found a red sticker on an apple. And I took that red sticker and I put it on the nose of my passport photo. And in my pocket, I had one of those red spongy noses you get at Halloween time, right? So I give the customs guy my passport. I put it on the nose. He looks at my photo, looks at me. I gotta tell you, they have the nicest holding cell. <laughs> Go to 7-Eleven. Two in the morning, three in the morning, some convenience store, it's open 24 hours. Talk to the guy behind the counter like you're in a Godzilla movie or a spaghetti western. It's just you and him at three in the morning. Hey, hey, where's your candy? <laughs> Excuse me, candy section where? I was there yesterday, it was right there. Did you guys move it? <laughs> <laughs> it freaks them out, unless they say to me, the candy's right in front of you, don't you see? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, woo. And the last one you could do, this work, it'll work tonight. It'll work tonight because I wasn't going to forget it. When you go into your car, see your friends are they're going to their car, you get further away from your friends in the street, talk gibberish. See how many times you can make your friends say, what? <laughs> it is sophomoric, but it's fun. Let it buy, Bob. Tomorrow you take a landing with you to bowl Colorado Saves. <laughs> sorry, what? Tomorrow, I'm just letting you know the goal's gonna say five o'clock, so don't leave the lalums out. <laughs> what? Are you, 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 taking Linda to the Lillen Colin Mork, Cinderphobe, <laughs> Randall Simino? And you know you got it when they go, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>